Welcome back to another episode of the $100 to $10,000 series, where I invest $100 every month to the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF to show everyone that you don't need a PhD or be a millionaire to invest successfully. This week we're down 0.56% and overall we're up 10.19%. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite Warren Buffett's advice. Sad. Warren Buffett is considered the greatest investor by many, and he once was the second richest person in the world. And what is so inspiring for so many people is that Warren Buffett was not born rich. Instead, he started saving up and investing his money at an early age to be where he is today. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite quotes from Warren Buffett that can help us become more mindful in our investing decisions. So the first tip that Mr. Buffett has for us is when trillions of dollars are managed by Wall Streeters charging high fees, it will usually be the managers who reap outsides profits, not the clients. So here, Warren Buffett is talking about a method of investing that require that the client pay a substantial amount in fees to the money managers. For example, typical hedge funds have a fee structure called 2 and 20. The 2 means 2% 2 of the assets managed by the fund is going to the pockets of the fund managers. And the 20 refers to the 20% cut that the fund takes of the profits if the fund is able to perform above a predefined standard. And so over time, the clients are losing out on a lot of money. And on average, the typical hedge fund does not beat the market. If we compare the S&P 500 and the average hedge fund, we see that its returns are often worse than the S&P 500. So for example, in 2019, the S&P 500 gained 31%, while the hedge fund aggregate only gained 10%. And in 2018, when there was a large correction in the market, the hedge funds lost over 5%, while the S&P only lost a little over 4%. So rather than investing in an investment vehicle that takes away 2% of your investment every year and another 20% if you end up gaining in your investment, it's typically better to just invest in a low-cost ETF like the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF we are investing in our series. And that's also probably why Warren Buffett is also invested into the S&P 500 ETF. The second tip is you don't need to be a rocket scientist. Investing is not a game where the guy with the 160 IQ beats the guy with 130 IQ. As I've been saying in the beginning of my videos, you don't need a PhD to invest successfully. And Warren Buffett never attributed his success in investing to his intelligence. If you read his biography, The Snowball, the book highlights how much time and effort Buffett has spent in his life to find successful investments. So to invest successfully, it's not about who can solve the most complex model. It's about spending time researching the companies that you decide to invest in and knowing exactly why you're investing in these companies. And if you don't want to do research or don't have the time, just invest in an ETF that tracks the market. The third piece of advice is only when the tide goes out, do you discover who's been swimming naked. So this is referring to when the market is in a recession you will be able to tell the winners from the losers. Because when the market is in a bull market, basically everyone is making money, and you can't really tell who has really done the research and who really just got lucky. But in a correction or a recession, the stocks that have solid fundamentals and value will not lose as much in their market value as others. And even if they do, these stocks will rebound eventually when everyone comes back to their senses. And that leads us to the fourth piece of advice, which is write down the reason you are buying a stock before your purchase. Write down, I am buying Microsoft at $300 billion because... Force yourself to write this down. It clarifies your mind and discipline. Oftentimes, you hear of people that gave up investing in stocks because they put a lot of their money into a stock without doing proper research or reasoning. So to help us sleep better at night with our investments, it's important that we know the reasons behind our bet that this company will grow over time and that it is fairly valued. The fifth tip Mr. Buffett has for us is 
Most people get interested in stocks when everyone else is. But the time to get interested is when no one else is. You can't buy what is popular and do well. Basically, this piece of advice can be summarized in four words. Fear of missing out. When you become FOMO, you are going to invest in things you don't understand, hoping that the wave will continue to go up. And that's basically what market bubbles are. Don't invest just because your next door neighbor made money on the stock. Invest after doing your due diligence and making sure your list of reasons for buying a stock is justifiable. And the last tip that I want to go over is you can't borrow money at 18 or 20% and come out ahead. So here Buffett is emphasizing the importance of not having debt to drag down the rate of growing your money. If you constantly don't pay off your credit card debt in time and you keep getting charged these crazy interest rates, you will have a really hard time saving up. And considering the average return of the stock market is about 10%, you are also losing out on the opportunity cost. When you have to spend your hard-earned money paying off debt and making the banks richer when you could have invested that money in growing it at an average rate of 10% per year. That's going to do it for this video. Please leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell turned on and I will see you guys in the next one.